Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dave with Flying 11X Decals. And what we're going to do today is we're going to have a look at four 148 scale AIM-9 Mike Sidewinder missiles produced by Richard Van Zant and sold under his Flightline resin product line. Uh, we're also going to take a look at a couple of items from our line here at Flying Leather uh, We've got our Lao 7 A6 missile launchers, as well as our Lao 7 stencil data decals. So hang tight and let me switch cameras and we'll go ahead and get on with the review. All right, so what we've got here uh, in front of us is we've got the Flying 11X uh, Loud 7A6 missile launchers. Uh, now keep in mind that we do have uh, several sets of Loud 7s and I chose this one simply, be that, simply because that's the one I chose. So uh, we'll set those aside for now, okay? We've also got our Flying Linux uh, Lao 7 missile launcher stencil data. Okay. There is actually enough markings on here to do a total of 12 launchers. Okay. Now, although they are currently unavailable, uh, we are also going to show off uh, MV Products uh, lenses, set 303. Uh, if you're able to find these, uh, these will work excellent on the missiles that Richard has produced. All right, now on to the missiles themselves. All right, so first off, these missiles are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, having loaded these personally uh, for several years in the Marine Corps, um, having a number of references on them, uh, from personal photos to the technical manuals, uh, measurements I've taken of the real item, uh, I can tell you that Richard pretty much nailed it. Now, one of the reasons why these are as accurate as they are uh, is not only uh, Richard's expertise expertise excuse me with uh, Fusion 360 and designing this stuff in CAD Jim Rotremel who provides uh, reference material uh, for several of our ordnance items uh, sat his drawings with measurements uh, to Richard. So I'll show the missile outside of the cage uh, here shortly. Uh, so in the set, like I said, you get four missiles and you have the option of getting them with or without the uh, seeker head cover. And I know this is going to be kind of hard to, kind of hard to focus and it's not you no know, there we go so you also get some seeker head covers so set out to the side all right so as i said you get the four missiles and they all come in cages similar to this and then this is the missile once it's removed from the cage. Now, obviously, as you can see, it's what we what we refer to as an all-up round. Uh, for those of you that are unaware, when Sidewinder missiles are received uh, from the station ordnance facilities, a lot of times they are without both they are without the wings and the fins. So when they're delivered from station ordnance to the eye level facility, uh, which is usually responsible for putting the missiles together uh, or direct to the squadron, uh, at those levels, that's where the wings and fins will actually be attached to the missile body. So what Richard has done is he has designed these in such a way that they come 3D printed 
uh, in one piece ready to go. All right, now, I previously mentioned the MV Products uh, lenses. Unfortunately, MV Products uh, is no longer in business. And trying to find uh, suitable replacements uh, is extremely difficult. And I actually had... I had a lens out of the pack, and I do believe that I may have lost it. So I'm going to have to use another one. I hope that I don't lose this one as well. So let's get this out of the pack. All right, this is going to be the, the fun, tricky part. Now, if you cannot find the MV lenses secondhand, uh, you should be able to replicate this with 5-minute epoxy. Now, keep in mind that this is not glued on, so it's not perfect. But it just so happens that the depression that Richard designed into the tip of the guidance and control section uh, holds the 0 0.052 or 1.3 millimeter lens uh, perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I am going to show you, actually before I do that, I'm going to put these lenses away. So with another one. I'm going to show you how these are removed from the cage. Uh, I used just a set of Tamiya uh, screw nippers and just very carefully Go around from the top. All right, so the top of the cage is done. Now what you want to do is I held the, the screw cutters, basically the, the flat end up towards the the bottom of the fin and you can you can make out where the fin meets these support these supports right here that Richard designed uh, onto the cage and just very carefully place it just underneath the fin. Okay. All right. All right. Just kind of go through and very carefully Trim the rest of the cage away. Let's see what I was right. All right, so got that cage removed, and now you've just got you've got the missile, 
still attached to the base. Very carefully. Do the same thing down in the bottom. All right, so once, once the membranes are cut from the aft end of the missile, you can actually take it and just very carefully twist, kind of give it a, give you a little room, get in there close to the, the end of the rocket motor. That breaks off. And then you've got your you've got your one piece missile. And I apologize for the lack of focusing. Now, once that was done, all I did was just take a 320 grit sanding stick and just very carefully uh, just give it a real light sanding to remove any burrs from the membranes. So, so, and you'll need to do, you'll need to do the same thing on the aft end of the, uh, the fins here. Uh, you'll also need to take care of a couple of very minor burrs right at the end of the rocket motor uh, here. So now, Obviously, once that's done, you could paint it up. And again, you have the option of doing one of two things. You can put the MV lens on, uh, or you can put a lens on it to replicate the, uh, uh, the actual seeker head, or you can use the 3D printed uh, cover that are provided in the sets. Now, for those of you not aware, 100% of the time, whenever an aircraft is on the deck, and if, regardless if it's a training missile or a live missile, unless it is ready to launch. So in other words, if you are displaying an aircraft just sitting on the deck with Sidewinder missiles on it, it will have these covers. They'll always be on there, no matter what. So now, of course, these are just scale models. Uh, there are, there's a reason why, uh, in real life, the seeker head covers need to be on there. Uh, but for modeling purposes, obviously, it's entirely up to you. You can have them on there, or it's not it's not completely necessary. But if you want to go for 100% accuracy and how it would look on the flight line. Uh, the cover would be on there. You can use stretch sprue. Uh, most of our seeker head covers have a bungee style uh, cord that's attached to the, the ring here. And it basically just stretches and fits over a corner uh, of the fin. So, all right. So this is the missile that Richard designed, again, under his product line, uh, flight line resin. He sells them directly, and they will soon be available uh, through Phase Hanger Resin uh, on their website. Now, for those of you that are not aware, all of the Lao 7 missile launchers uh, in our line, in the Flying Leather X line, were designed by Richard Van Zandt. So, obviously, he designed his missiles to fit our Lao 7s. Now, Richard also designed uh, Lao 127s uh, for us here at Flying Leather X, and he also designed Lao 128s that are sold under the phase hanger uh, resin line by Mike Reeves. Obviously, again, his missiles will fit all of the launchers currently available uh, by either myself or phase hanger. So, <clears throat> now, on the Lao 7, this particular Lao 7 that I picked up is the Lao 7 FA 
which is used exclusively on, on late F-18Cs and D uh, Hornets, currently operated by the Marine Corps. And you've got the Lao 7A6, which was pretty much used for the longest period of time, uh, pretty much all aircraft uh, operated by the Navy and Marine Corps uh, that were authorized to carry the Lao 7. This is going to be the appropriate launcher pretty much from Desert Storm, late 88, 89, uh, all the way to, to today. Um, there are, there have been other changes, uh, but physically, this launcher here for most modern Navy and Marine Corps aircraft, uh, the Lao 7A6 is the one that you're going to want to use. And then attached, it just kind of fits right there. Now, of course, I'm just kind of holding it so you can show. It's going to, once it's fit on there perfectly, it's going to, it's going to fit in there. It's going to, the missile is going to be a little bit closer to the launcher itself. Um, but so now you've got accurate aim nine. <clears throat> you got accurate LAW seven, LAW 126, LAW 127, LAW 128. And then for all of our LAW seven A sixes, uh, A fives, uh, the FA, uh, again, we have the stencil sheet. So, so there you have it. Uh, to order these AIM-9 missiles, you can contact uh, Richard directly. Um, you can go to his page, uh, Flightline Resin, on Facebook. And again, here within the next few weeks, they should be available to order direct on Phase Hanger Resin's website. So that's it. I appreciate you spending a few minutes with us. All right, and you all enjoy the rest of your afternoon.